Hello my gorgeous air signs and welcome to your weekly energy check-in rating. We are just going to jump right in and get started. We have a couple of jumpers here this morning. Um, what I'm kind of getting from this air signs is that um, I feel like Either you're ready to step into some so, some sort of a relationship, or that's what you're looking to do. I feel like divinely, it is it would be just for you to receive what you're asking for or what you're wanting. I do feel like it has something to do with something I can't see uh, prior to this moment. So some sort of something that you had to go through that was a little bit on the heavier side or um, a, a little bit taxing. I feel like mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, vibrationally, and I feel like spirit is allowing something new to come in. I don't know if someone is coming back around and that would be the justice in the situation or someone new is coming in as far as justice in this situation. Um, either way, I do feel like you have some sort of a relationship due to you through divine. And I feel like it is a divine connection that they'll be putting into play for you to enjoy. I do feel like that is kind of the gist of it. I feel like um, karmically, I feel like it's owed to you. Okay. Um, so let's see what comes up. It could be more about that or it could be something else. Let's see. What do we have for these gorgeous air signs for this lovely seven days ahead here. I feel like this is something. All right. I feel like you're giving a lot into something for sure. And it kind of feels like, okay, I do feel like this has to do with work or um, kind of what's going on in monetary matters. I do feel like maybe you feel like you're putting in and putting in and giving to something and, and, and working with something or working for someone and you're just not getting back what you feel you should be getting at this point. Um, or it's not enough for you to get ahead and have the monetary victory that you're really hoping for. And I feel like, um, Try to stay balanced within this situation and passionate. Stay passionate because I feel like I feel like if you keep working towards whatever this is, I feel like you will eventually see um, what you're looking to see manifest for you. I just feel like, you know, maybe it didn't come in on your timeline, but, you know, Divine has a different timeline of when this sort of victory is supposed to come through for you. It may take looking in a new direction and maybe refocusing and, and seeing where your passion is and seeing where that purity of heart takes you as far as monetarily or in your life. Um, you could maybe have to start some type of a side hustle that um, uh, following a passion that may actually lead you to more of your purpose and actually um, you may find your monetary abundance there, right? Um, I am hearing be cautioned about stepping out of work if there's nothing to step into. Um, so even if you feel like you're at a dead end job and it's only giving you so much, it is maybe maybe you're just making your bills. To step out of that with nothing to step into, you're being cautioned against that. It could really, really um, hinder you from your forward movement. I feel like spirit is kind of saying, stay passionate in life, keep moving forward, and when the opportunity presents itself for you to further yourself and expand, then take it. But I wouldn't take um, action to move away from something until you have something else. I just feel like it would really, um, I feel like it would really hinder you in your forward movement. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like something is coming. The wheel is on the uptick. uptick and look, we do have the emperor there. I do feel like you're, if you're worried about your finances, um, I feel like you won't have to wait much longer for something new to come in. And I feel like maybe you just know you're due for something more. And I kind of get that uh, it's owed to you type of energy. So I don't know if you've really been putting it in and you think at this point it should be owed to me. I put in um, blood, sweat, and tears to get this off the ground or to keep myself going. And it's like I deserve more. And I feel like 
spirit kind of hears that and I feel like they're well aware that you deserve more and I feel like that more is coming but don't take a leap until it comes I feel like you are due to be that emperor or to be in that um you know uh I'm hearing boss daddy boss mommy energy so either way I feel like it is coming in I feel like if you have to pinch those pennies right now pinch those pennies that's okay um I feel like you could be looking at every dollar that goes out, looking at every dollar that comes in. It's okay to be like that right now. I know the goal is to not to have to really look, um, but I feel like do this while you have to and really, really enjoy this and love it for what it is when it comes and appreciate it because I feel like it is coming. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel like you could even be working for yourself right now. Um, and feeling like it's just not providing what you want it to provide. Um, and I feel like your skills far outweigh what you're being paid. Um, I really do get that sense here, Air Signs. Um, or your skills, what, what you have to offer. Um, it's like, I feel like you deserve more for it. Um, or you don't charge a lot for it. Um, I don't know if that's some type of vibrational block at this moment. It could be a vibrational block. I don't know that it's one you've put in place. I do kind of feel like it's one spirit has put in place because they want you to see things through a certain lens. Um, and I don't quite know how, I, I think it's more of a lens of gratitude. Um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like it's a lens of gratitude and a certain level of humble that you need to hit before this comes in. I know that sounds crazy, but this emperor, I do feel like has a certain level of humble energy attached to him. Um, I feel like very thankful for what's come in, um, for all that got you to this point and all that's taking you into the future. And um, I kind of feel like that's the key to turn the lock within to kind of drop that vibrational boundary to get things moving, I guess, on the uptick again with that wheel. Um, oh my, my. I feel like you've got a lot coming in <laughs> um, after the fact. You could have new love coming in. Wow, we've got a lot here. Yeah, I feel like seeing with clarity, um, coming out of a period of what feels like sleep or slow energy, I mean, this energy feels like a crawl. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I feel like you haven't been able to celebrate as much as you feel you should be at this point. I feel like it's just you know it's coming. Um, it's like I, I feel like you're gifted and you know it's coming. And that's why you're like, it should have been here. But really, it's just you're clear knowing that it's coming. So you're kind of getting those two kind of twisted, those two energetics. Um, I feel like you know you're supposed to be this king of pentacles, right? Uh, whether masculine or feminine. Uh, that that um, that stable uh, nurturer, right? And I feel like, I feel like the one that brings all of that stability in, and I feel like you know you're supposed to be that. And I kind of want to just put it this way because I feel like, it's just not here yet. Um, let's see, what else did we, yeah, that Queen of Cups. Like I said, I do feel like you have love coming in as well. I feel like that's also kind of owed to you. I feel like you had to go through a certain level of growth and a certain level of learning. You may be still experiencing a bit of slow energy this week, but do know it's coming. I feel like, yeah, I just feel like we're on that paused energy right now. We're not off really in search of. It's like we kind of know where it's going to come from or how it's going to manifest through this certain thing that we're doing. It's just it hasn't panned out yet. It doesn't look like this week it's going to pan out just yet, but keep going. Keep it moving. I was seeing that Queen of Wands in my head. Um, stay in that passionate energy, in that um, that star energy. I really feel like you will come into your emperor or your... Um, king of pentacles in the upright very very soon just keep on keeping on and i feel like you will get there so spirit's just saying keep going um don't give up you're on the right path it's just not time yet and you know that's okay it's like go within think about how this would look in your life think about how gratitude 
um, it, it's some level of gratitude and, and humbleness. Um, I, I'm really getting an emphasis on the stay humble, um, hustle hard, stay humble kind of thing. Um, that's what I'm kind of getting there. All right, let's see. All right, air signs, what do we have for you? It looks to be a gorgeous week ahead. I feel like you're getting where you want to go. You're just not going to see it materialize this week. Could be at the end of the week coming into next, um, but just not this week. But um, I feel like the work you do today will benefit you in the long run. So keep it going. Uh, we have a T and an A. <laughs> um, I'm also hearing ta-da. So it's like, I feel like, I feel like you're wowing people, but it seems like it's just not enough. Um, and you can't kind of figure out why. It's just not meant right this minute. It's not that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, or um, it's not that you're not inspiring the way you're supposed to be inspiring or shining the way you're supposed to be shining. It's like you see yourself to be doing so much and you're like, how am I getting so little for everything I'm putting in? And I kind of get that it's like, it's just not time yet. It's okay. You don't have to stress yourself over it. I feel like I want to say, don't stress. Come, take a breath. Because I kind of feel stressed out um, delivering the message. It's like I'm doing everything I can and I'm doing it in tip-top shape. It's like, why aren't people noticing? It's like, they are. Just, it'll get there in the right, perfect timing. It's like nothing that divine hands out will come a second before it's supposed to, not a second later than it's supposed to. It's always right on time. And you'll see that. The timing will be perfect when it comes in. You'll think, wow, this is a great time for it to take off or really um, expand or for my money to really be flowing in. It'll be perfect, right? Okay, somebody could be 25 or 52 or in, in between 25 and 52, this might resonate. We have 666 six or 99 nine or 666 six six or 999. And these are angel numbers. No fear, people. We don't throw that out here. We just kind of, you know. Yeah, I hear, okay, okay. So no stress, okay. <laughs> um, this R is standing out. We're not doing names today, it feels like, no. I hear you, and I feel like somebody's trying to get your attention. You could have a love partner trying to get your attention, um, and they could be trying to get your attention in a friendly sort of way to kind of get things started with you. Um, so that's what I am seeing, somebody coming in more on a friendly basis and hoping they can jump off from there and create more interest. It's like, um, hey, why don't yo, why don't we meet up for lunch? Okay, okay, I'll see you at lunch, that kind of thing. Uh, we'll go grab a burger or we'll go grab something to eat. You know, whatever. That's kind of what it feels like. All right, air signs. I feel like it's good energy. I just feel like you're a little frustrated because you're not where you want to be just yet. And I, I can understand that. All right. Okay. Normally I say song signs, but I hear soul song in this. Um, and I feel like something to do with ancestors. I feel like that love that keeps kind of popping its head up in here. And I feel like it's something you're not even really focused on right now. Um, and I feel like if you're not focused on love, this is for you. <laughs> because this is someone who's like, I want to be focused elsewhere. I want to be focused on growing my career or growing my monetary abundance or um, just going out and having fun. But I feel like spirit is saying, um, love is actually coming in for you and it looks like someone soul song sort of matches yours and I feel like it's being ushered in I feel like you've been doing a lot um and I feel like not just in your life but I feel like for yourself as well there's that glow up energy um I'm hearing take some time out and have fun. I hear Cinderella. So it's like you've been working too hard. You're putting a lot in. You're getting frustrated. It's like take a moment, take a night out, or go catch a lunch break with somebody instead of working through your lunch to try and get even further ahead. It's like spirits trying to encourage you to really take a breather. Yeah, they're saying love is love on the way of, on wings of angels. Like you really have love coming in. And I feel like spirit is saying that's also going to grow you, whether you believe it or not, in the direction of your dreams. You know, when your love life is doing well, a lot of times your monetary abundance does really, really well as well. So, um, 
someone might be looking at you as a place to drop anchor. They see something within you. And I feel like this is something you're not seeing at all. I feel like it's not the focus. Um, I hear you've got your nose buried in a book or you've got your sights locked on your target, whatever it is you're trying to achieve. I love that. I feel like that's amazing. But I feel like Spirit's saying change has to come in as well. It's like you need to be balanced in some sort of way. There is protection along this journey. There's protection coming in when it comes to love as well. If the right type of person is coming in. And I feel like you'll see that very clearly. I feel like they're just looking to create a little more happiness. It's like to make that in-between time, that in-betwixt time, more pleasurable, more enjoyable. It's like before you hit your goals, you can have other forms of happiness. And it's like, I don't know if you're just denying yourself those things because you feel like if I allow my focus to fall to the wayside, I'm going to lose what I'm going for. But I feel like Spirit's trying to say, you have to be enjoying your life as you go along. Yes, put that effort in on your dreams and your hopes. But just know that other forms of happiness are available. You don't have to walk through it all gritting and grinding your teeth. It's like, there's more to be had and spirit wants to offer you that as well as your dreams. You, you don't have to forfeit them to gain extra happiness. And I feel like that's what spirit's trying to show you. You don't have to um, stop going out altogether and having fun and, and being social um, to gain your dream. Okay, so spirit wants you to have just a little bit more balance. They want you to become a little bit more stable and um, really see all of your life kind of blossom and bloom. Um, and I feel like this is going to continue to happen through spring. Um, I am seeing springtime energy in my mind. It's like, it just looks like, you know, you'd see an Easter bunny hopping around. Everything's green and lush and there's beautiful flowers just blooming. Um, and I kind of feel like that's the energy that spirit wants you to be in. It's just open to abundance um, in all of its forms. And I feel like they really want to celebrate all of this with you, not just like in your business sector. It's like in your love sector, um, in your friends, in your family. And it's like all these beautiful connections. Spirit doesn't want them to fall to the wayside. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Air Signs. It looks to be a beautiful week. Try to see all the beauty in the week and try not to focus overly much on what you don't have yet. It is coming in for you, okay? Stay strong, have fun, and have an amazing week. Okay, bye, Air Signs.